The Leader Fund in Pembrokeshire is administered by Planet on behalf of the local action group commonly known as the LAG. The local action group comprises members from the third public and private sectors who collectively have awarded almost £3 million worth of grants in the recent programme to over 66 projects. Planet as the administrative body is embedded within communities across Pembrokeshire and West Wales and working together we have successfully supported all those 66 projects and make sure that the legacy of LEADER continues to live on in a sustainable format through various case studies which we are collaborating on. So I'm Emma Baines and I am the Learning Officer at Narbeth Museum um, and the title of my project is the Women of West Wales Project. So the Women of West Wales Project is a three-year project to explore the diverse lives of women in the past from this part of the world and to um, collect them together in a place where they can be seen, accessed and um, are written down in history. Um, because so much of women's history, particularly rural women's history, appears in letters, diary fragments, oral histories, memoirs that are in the drawers and on the shelves of museums um, or in people's attics. And they're not actually recorded anywhere where people can access them. And so, so much of what we know about history um, is from a male perspective. And the project um, wants to redress that balance, really. So the first year of the project was um, funded partially by LEADER and partially by the National Lottery Heritage Fund, with subsequent, subsequent years funded just by the National Lottery Heritage Fund. Um, the first year was a kind of pilot year to see if we could create a digital museum that would mean that women's history, uh, and as we researched it, could be deposited somewhere where people could access it easily. Um, and we really wanted to experiment with ways we could make it as easy as possible for people to use the website and for us to place the information on there as we found it. So um, it was kind of an experimental year. It allowed us to, to really put the framework of what we were doing in, into place and to develop a series of workshops, talks, community engagement events that would really pull all of the threads of the project together and get it out there as much as possible. Oh, lead has been a brilliant experience for us. We've had a huge response to this project. Um, we've really managed to achieve and continue to achieve and excel our objectives. Um, the community response has been overwhelming. Our talks have been really well attended, our events, our exhibitions, um, and the the way we've been able to work outwards and expand and work with other groups from other museums, local history groups, um, the National Library of Wales, um, and now currently the Women's Archive of Wales. We've really built up a strong community of um, networks and people who would never have engaged with the museum normally. Partly unexpectedly, um, because of the pandemic, I mean, this was always a digital project in one respect, because um, the kind of concept of a digital museum meant that as many people could access the information we were collecting as possible. Um, but the pandemic is really pushing the boundaries of this for us, and we've started to do some Zoom talks, and some of our exhibitions now appear online. Instagram exhibitions. We're just thinking of different ways of you using digital technology. Um, and it's worked really well for us because it's meant that we can expand our audience outwards much more than we might normally. Um, and I think that's something that we might take forward even when we're allowed to meet together again. It can be used alongside um, direct community engagement. So one example I can think of is um, you put in exhibitions online draws interest much more widely than just advertising it locally does. 
um, and means that more people can see the work that we do. Um, and other things are um, when we put on physical exhibitions, it allows us to have something alongside that. So something off the top of my head is things like Meet the Curator. So little interviews that you, we can put on social media that give a little bit more insight and a little bit more of an informal chatty engagement with our audiences.